In this video, we will be developing the quadratic formula. The standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. We will complete the square to develop the quadratic formula. We'll start with ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. The first step when completing the square is to make sure that the lead coefficient is 1. So we need to divide both sides of the equation by a to make this 1. So we'll divide each term. And a over a is 1. Now we have x squared plus, and I'm going to separate my coefficient from my x so that I have b over a times x plus c over a equals 0. The next step is to move the constant term to the right side of the equation. So I'll subtract c over a from both sides. And these cancel. Now I have x squared plus b over a x equals negative c over a. The next step is what I call the half it squared add it step. I need to take the coefficient of x and multiply it by 1 half. b over a. So I get b over 2a. Then I want to square that result. So b over 2a quantity squared is b squared over 4a squared. And then I want to add that to both sides of the equation. So I have x squared plus b over a x plus, and I have to add this to the left side, so b squared over 4a squared added to the left, and negative c over a, and add the same thing, b squared over 4a squared to the right side. My next step is to factor the trinomial on the left as a perfect square trinomial. So it'll be a binomial squared. We need the square root of x squared as our first term, so that's x. We need the operation on our middle term, so that's plus. And then we need the square root of the last term as our second term in the binomial. So the square root of b squared is b. The square root of 4a squared is 2a. Then on the right side, I need to combine these terms. I need a common denominator, so I'll need to multiply top and bottom by 4. And I need a squared, so I'll multiply top and bottom by a as well. Now I have 4a squared in the denominator of both terms, so I can combine them. And I have, I'm going to write my positive term, my b squared first. So I have b squared minus and then this is 4ac. Now I'm going to solve this equation with the square root property, which says I can square root both sides. So I'll do that. Whenever you square root a square, you're left with just this inside part. So I have x plus b over 2a on the left side. 
and the square root property says that when you square root both sides, you have to write the plus or minus on the radical on the right side. So I have plus or minus, and I'm going to separate this into two radicals. So I have square root of b squared minus 4ac in the numerator, and I have square root of 4a squared in the denominator. Now I want x by itself, so I'm going to subtract b over 2a from both sides. And these will cancel. So on the left side, I have x equals. And on the right side, I'm going to write this term first. So I have a negative b over 2a, and then plus or minus. And then I have the fraction. The numerator of the fraction is b squared minus 4ac under the square root. And in the bottom, the square root of 4a squared is 2a. So now I have a common denominator, so I'm going to go ahead and put these two terms together. So I have x is equal to, and then 2a is in the bottom. And on the numerator, I have negative b, plus or minus, square root of b squared minus 4ac. This is the quadratic formula. And you use this formula to solve a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0.